this theme music actually I was going to say, every time we, I walk up with the theme music, I feel <laughs> like a gladiator. Or something. It's wonderful. So whoever's doing that. Can we please have it everywhere? Yes, we you could follow now me on. to the bathroom. And Just to go brush my teeth. So. In Anything. some circles, mathematics has gotten a rep as being, well, not relevant to the real world. No offense, guys, I'm just reading what it says. But math is an important ingredient when working out how to blow stuff up in the movies, and that is relevant. The finite element method, or FEM, is a sexy numerical technique for approximating right. complex solutions in engineering. <laughs> it is widely <laughs> used in the real world. Analysis of determining what will happen to a structure when hit by another object or blown up. FEM was folded into the Digital Molecular Matter, or DMM, library. It's licensed software initially used for real-time destruction in video games. It was then advanced and upgraded for use in motion pictures. The moving picture company adapted FEM into a visual effects destruction system called Kali. Kali? Kali. 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 FEM, either way, it's sexy as hell. FEM simulations oh. can bend, break, shatter, twist, and tear based upon material properties and how the forces are applied to those structures. So hot. So Hot. It's real world physics in the digital realm, and the results look authentic and sexy, of course. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just rolling with it. They Good. said sexy up nice. there. I'm, I'm... MPC has used Kali in almost 60 movies, including X Men First Class, when a supervillain uses his evil powers to make an anchor rip through a yacht. Magneto, that's Magneto. Of course. To Ben Cole for the design of Collie and Eric Parker for the development of the Digital Molecular Matter Toolkit, and to James O'Brien for his research on the finite element methods, the Academy presents each a Technical Achievement Award. Guys, come get your awards. So we'd like to thank the Academy and the SciTech investigators for recognizing this collaborative research that has taken place over a long time and several institutions. Personally, I'd like to thank the faculty at Georgia Tech, particularly my thesis advisor, Jessica Hodgins. And I'd also like to thank all the really great students I've had at UC Berkeley, particularly Adam Bartell, who contributed to the early development of this work. And uh, finally, I want to give a shout out to my two kids, uh, Torin and Caden. Well, I'd just like to thank the uh, folks at uh, Pixelux, Vic, Mitch, uh, Dave, Eric, and Carl, my mom, of course, uh, the understanding of my kids, and Lisa, and uh, also Dr. Kane for the SMU Graphics Lab, and to Peter Hirschman for being a Hellcats fan. I'd like to thank especially the software team, uh, with a special shout out to Mark Williams, and also to Zack Snyder, whose movie Sucker Punch gave us the impetus to try this stuff out, and to all the effects TDs and lighters and modelers whose talents have been instrumental in demonstrating the expressivity of these techniques. Thanks a lot, and thanks everybody.